Next is ellipse. Ellipse center. Give the center point. Make ortho on. If it is not on, right now it is on. Then give the direction on which side you want to specify the radius and specify the radius of the ellipse. Suppose horizontal radius is 10. Then give the opposite radius. Now he is asking me for the vertical radius. Suppose vertical radius is 5. Ellipse. Give the center point. Take your cursor away. And specify the side which radius you want to specify. Give the radius. Give the opposite radius. In this way ellipse will be created. And if you want to create a ellipse by specifying two endpoints of the ellipse. Then for that you will have to use this option axis end. For this option at first you will have to give the one endpoint of the ellipse. And then you will have to specify the distance of the other endpoint. That means you will have to specify the horizontal or vertical diameter. Suppose I will say diameter of 15, enter. Then you will have to specify the vertical radius. Suppose radius is 5. In this way also you can create the ellipse. The next is spline fit. Give the first point, make ortho off. Then you will have to specify the point in zigzag mode, one point above, one point below. Then it will create the spline line. You can control the distance and size while clicking. And once done, press enter, your spline will be created. And if you want to edit the shape, just click on the spline and catch these grips. And you can control the shape by changing location of the points. Then press escape to come out. Then other type of spline is spline CV that is control vertices. In this case you will have to give the position of the control vertices not the point of the spline. And as per that your spline will be created. And when you try to manipulate the spline you will have to change the location of the control vertices. As per that shape of your spline will change. Press escape. Then next is construction line. Construction line is basically infinite length line that you can use as a reference for your drawing. Click on the construction line, give the first point, make ortho on so that it will come straight. Give the second point. Again give the second point, press escape. So this line will be the line of infinite length. This line you can use as a reference line. You can also create inclined construction line. Click on construction line. With the first point, make ortho off. Then you will have to specify the through point. Or if you want to give the angle, press tab and give the angle. And press enter. So it will create in that angle. To specify the angle, you have to press the tab and give the angle and press enter. So as per that, it will create infinite line in that particular angle. Some other options are also there in construction line. You can also create offset construction line. Click on offset. Then give the distance. Select the line. It will create a construction line at a specified distance parallel to other object. You can also create bisector construction line. For that again click on construction line. Select bisector. Then specify angle vertex point. Suppose I will take this one. Then specify the start angle point. Then end angle point and press enter. So it will bisect that angle and create the construction line. The next is ray. It is like construction line only but it is in one direction. It is not on both direction rays. Give the first point. Give the second point or make ortho on for straight ray. So it will create infinite line in one direction. The next is multiple points. You can create points for reference. Escape. Then if you want to view these points in different point style, then take your cursor on the utilities and from here select the point style. And choose the point style. Suppose I want them to look like this. Okay. So those points will be shown in that point style. Suppose I want to create one line passing through these points. Then to catch this you will have to use the node object map. 
give the line command then to catch this point press shift right click and choose the node object snap and click the point using node you can exactly catch the point shift right click node so it will give you exactly that point that line will pass through that point only enter you can also create a spline passing through number of points using the same node method and spline command then next is divide so it will create a points on the object as per the quantity specified by us suppose we have this line we want to divide this line in number of segment and for that from here you will have to choose divide then select object to divide then give the number of segment suppose I want it to be 5 enter so it will place point at that location and it will create 5 parts but it will not break the lines it will keep the line as it is it will only place the point and normally this point will not be visible we just have changed point style therefore those points are visible normally it will be visible like nothing has happened so if I choose your point style normally point style is like this okay if it is not shown you will have to remember that you will have to change the point style to display those points now here we have located the point by quantity same way you can also locate the point by distance for that you will have to use the next command that is measure next is measure your point will be equipaced based on the measurement click on measure select the object then give the measurement I want points at measurement of 3 enter so your point will be placed at a distance of 3 then next is donut using donut you can create a filled circle or a circle with thickness donut then give the inside diameter suppose it is 1 outside diameter 2 then it will create rings like this circle with thickness and if you want to create a completely filled circle then for that you will have to specify internal radius to be 0 and give the outside diameter so it will create a filled circle like this escape then from here you can create different shapes of revision clouds suppose rectangular give the first point give the second point it will create rectangular revision cloud and if you want to control the size of these arcs then for that draw a revision cloud for that you will have to change arc length from here click on arc length suppose I want to increase the size I will give minimum length of 2 maximum length of 4 give the first point give the second point as for that your revision cloud will be created revision cloud rectangular is there then you can create polygon revision cloud specify the start point specify the next points so it will create as per the points clicked by you then press enter that is polygon revision cloud then next is freehand give the first point and take your cursor and move your mouse as you move as per that it will be created when start point and end point comes near it will close automatic then you can create revision cloud as per object also suppose I want a circular revision cloud then for that at first we will create one circle then choose the revision cloud then click on object option and select the circle and if you want to reverse the direction suppose I want to reverse the direction click on yes as per that you can create revision cloud in opposite direction that's all thanks for watching we will stop here